Don't focus on where you are. Don't focus on what you see. Focus on where you want to be. Keep going there. When things get hard, it's not the time to decide that I'm going to waver or you're going to waver. Hey, y'all. Welcome and welcome back to another episode of Solar Vision. Let's take this device out my ear because they're not paying me. Okay, only people that need to be on here are people that's paying me. And at this moment, I am the only one paying me. <laughs> um, but hey, how you doing? Hope your week's been doing good. Um, my week's been pretty good. Right now it's a Monday. So you know Mondays be Mondaying, but very productive day for me. Um, I wish I could just hear like feedback so it could be like a conversation, but it's just me up here talking. So, um, yeah, I hope your week was well or went, went, whoa, this supposed to, hold on, I didn't shrunk down to, okay, I just wanted to go down a little bit, but it took me down to the flow. I guess I'm not meant to, cause my feet don't, they don't that's how that was supposed to do. Okay. Um, what was I going to say? Welcome back. Thank you for coming back. Um, go refer a friend to the channel because I would greatly appreciate it. Today I have, you know, I feel like every single week when I come, I have a lot of things I want to talk about or there more so a lot of things on my mind because, you know, overthinker, always thinking, I feel like I have two things I want to talk about, but you know. We're going to see where it goes. Let's let's see where this episode takes us. But in the lieu of, I mean, it's not really a new year per se, but we're in the beginning of the new year and I haven't said this in a while or something similar to this in a while. So I know there are people out there that are in very tough times in life. And I know that with inflation on top of the housing crisis, on top of people losing their jobs, getting laid over people can't afford groceries like it's just really crazy like crazier than the pandemic uh I guess the first pandemic are we technically in this pandemic right now I don't know but it's been really really crazy and I just want you to know that this is just a season this is just a season this is just a season this is just a season. Better things are coming. Your solutions are coming. Your breakthrough is coming. Just keep vision in the life that you want. Don't focus on where you are. Don't focus on what you see. Focus on where you want to be. Keep going there. When things get hard, it's not the time to decide that I'm going to waver or you're going to waver. We got to keep going. Yes, it's hard. Yes, you have feelings. Some, sometimes some people might be going through, you know, just being depressed or being extremely anxious or more depressed or more anxious than they normally or usually are. But through it all, please keep going. Please keep going because as long as you keep going, better is to come. It's like if you think of life like the game no, I wouldn't want to say life, but if you think of life like the game life, I was originally thinking Monopoly, but my mind said life. So we're going to say life. If you think of life like the game of life, <clears throat> you take all the aspects of the game out, obviously, and you're just traveling down the path and you spin and you're in a bad spot as far as being in life. When you're in a bad spot, would you want to try to spin again or do you want to stay in that spot? I hope what I'm saying is coming out as clear as it is in my head. But if you're if you're hopping from space to space in the game of life and the place you stop, and we're talking about in real life now, and the place you stop is a bad place, things aren't really looking good, like you can't see the light at the end of the tunnel, would you want to spin again and try to get out of that? Or would you want to stay where you are? As tough as things are where you are, you still should keep trying because if you do nothing, you're going to be where you are. Not saying that you got to hustle your way and get this, this, all the stuff that people are telling you to do. I'm just saying just get up, get out of bed, do your routine, 
Like get your get your mind in a place of get your mind out of that dark room that it gets into. Get your mind out of the overthinking that it does. Get out of the environments that allow your brain to go there. Does that make sense? So in this game of life, we're going to keep spinning till we get to a better place that we need to get to. And it is coming. It is coming. Nothing, it, no bad things last forever. The last thing that you thought you wouldn't get out of, here you are. Granted, you're in another thing, but still you got out of the last thing. You're going to get out of this thing too. Okay. What I saw, I saw something today and it was like, <sighs> I'm bad at telling stories, but God, when you're going through tough times, uh, it's like a slingshot. So you have a, you know, what a slingshot looks like. Sorry for my listeners. Um, but when you have resistance or you have hard times in your life, that's God pulling you back. This is the resistance. But you know, when you let go, when you're using a slingshot, it propels forward. Just think of your life as that. I feel like that's, it, it makes it easier. Thinking about ways to make your situation easier to make it easier on your brain or make the circumstances you're going through make more sense is to think of stories like these think of the game of life think of the slingshot the things that you're going through are supposed to be here to strengthen you so you can move forward you might not have the tools that you need to move forward and to progress in life in you know, pursue all the dreams and all the things that you want to do with your life. Um, But just don't sit in it and don't, don't, don't let yourself sit for too long. Feel the emotions. Yeah, it sucks, but don't sit for too long. Cause if you sit for too long, you get, you're going to get comfortable sitting there and you're just going to be there for the rest of your life. Let's keep going. You got this. I know you got this and look at, look back at how, how, how much you've done. Different things, there are different ways and different tools that you can use in order to get yourself out of a rut. After a few days of being in a rut, you have to be able to get yourself up and out. Not saying it's going to go away, but you have to get yourself out of those environments. You have to consciously not want to feel that way. Life can be a way, but you can control how you feel and how you stress your body out. Okay? I hope you do see the light at the end of the tunnel. And this is a weird time because I feel like with social media, you can see that people are thriving and opening 72,000 businesses. And then you also see people that are that need, I mean, basic necessities. And it's like so weird because obviously if you're needing basic necessities and you get on social media, you see people flaunting and doing what they do, showing off all this stuff, you're going to feel bad about your situation. But I just want you to not to know to not compare your situation to theirs. You don't know what's going on behind closed doors focus on the grass that you gotta water spin again and let's get up out of here and you might spin again and you might still be in that that dark space but as long you might spin again you might be in that dark place but know that eventually you keep spinning you're gonna get out of it keep spinning keep spinning all right All right, next topic or the next thing I wanted to talk about was, well, I guess let's manifest. Today we're going to manifest. This is where I will have an ad. Hey, so you guys, you know how I say blah, 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 blah. Well, here's this thing. And use my code SOLDIVISION for 10% off. (laughs) Okay. We're getting some ads soon, okay? I'm just practicing because this is not something that I am used to. I'm used to, obviously, my background was selling skincare, but that's my own thing, not like 
introducing other people's things. Side note, I went on my business page the other day and it was very, okay. How do I say this? So I went on my business page and on my business page, I followed other, you know, small black owned black, small black woman owned businesses. Um, because we just support each other comments, like, so whatever. And I haven't been on that page in a long time because there's no point because I'm not selling anything. But there are some people that I know and they are, um, congrats, because they are still selling and they're still marketing and they're still posting and all that stuff. But then it, like, made me think back and into the days of when I was making products and doing all this stuff and running myself ragged. And I don't miss it. I don't miss it. I always enjoyed making products for myself, my family, healing whatever ailments people have. But the whole business part of it, like making your own stuff, not the move, but I guess we can uh, talk about that another day. If y'all want to hear that stuff, I don't know what y'all want to hear. I got four listeners and nobody comments, Um, (laughs) but... Yeah, the other thing I wanted to talk about is um, this video I saw. I saw a video of Issa Rae, and she was doing an interview. If you don't know who Issa Rae is, come on. Come on, Insecure. Um, But she was in an interview with some host of some, I don't know. It It was just an interview. And he was asking, because, okay, backstory. She had a show on YouTube called awkward black girl what is it what was it called i honestly didn't watch it because i don't think i was i was watching dormtainment and stuff like that it's called awkward black girl right what did i just say Yeah, Awkward Black black Girl. So, yeah, she had a show called Awkward Black Girl. And from there, you know, she just progressed. This show was out before she became big, but it was just showing off how creative she was and how she wanted to be a director, writer, producer, all that stuff. So that's amazing. But he asked her, because of that, he asked her, do you feel like you're still awkward after she's done all these things? And she said, yes, I am very awkward. Like, yeah, I do think I'm still very awkward. And... She explained it in a way that related to me so much. <laughs> uh, and I'm sure it relates to a lot of people that are kind of, you know, weird, awkward. But she was like, yeah, I overthink so much. Like if I'm talking to someone, I overthink so much to the because I don't want to say anything like that would seem out of the way or that they wouldn't like or I just want to say the perfect thing or say things the perfect way so I'm overthinking and overthinking and I still end up saying something kind of crazy um that makes the conversation awkward and sometimes you know when some someone says something and people are like okay you got a thing um I'm not that bad but the overthinking making sure I'm responding in the way that, you know, would be acceptable amongst whoever I'm around kind of thing. Not necessarily like trying to please. I would say this is not a people pleaser tendency. This is just making sure. I feel like I, I just, I just don't blend well with regular or I don't blend well in regular social scenes. I'm not a regular social person. Like, weird kind of like I don't know not people pleasing but just making sure I am on the topic but at the same time what is it let's stop and think I feel like okay maybe this is it sometimes I have multiple responses to things I don't know if anyone else does has those but I have multiple responses to things so I make sure like I have to check in with myself and see which one response I have to choose because you can only choose one response to respond to something that someone's saying to you You can't say all those things because obviously you just can't so I have to make sure which I have to figure out which one is more appropriate 
for the conversation like what's the mood here who am I talking to who are they to me who are they you know where I am kind of thing um yeah and I never related to any celebrity more I think that was the thing it was because she's a celebrity um because most people are just regular people but Issa Rae me and her connected we connected. Well, I connected to her. She don't even know who I am. But that leads me to want to t- say to you or say for what? That leads me to want to tell you to embrace you as you are without any exceptions. Weird you, awkward you. Um, what else I wrote down? If people th- say you're sensitive, If people say you overthink or you do too much, embrace it. Embrace it. Because honestly, if we're being completely 100,000 million percent honest, it's better to accept how you are versus hating those different parts of you that are going to be with you forever. Certain things you cannot change. You cannot change, well, (laughs) trauma can change it, but certain things you personally, no matter how many times you try to build habits to do certain things, there's no habits that can change certain things about a person. So instead of whenever those things happen or whenever you find yourself in an awkward situation because of you, or if you find yourself overthinking too much at a point where it's kind of annoying, instead of saying like, oh, I hate when I do this, I hate this, Embrace it as, yeah, that's me. That's what I be doing. My brain. It's just do what it want to do kind of thing. Because unless you want to go throughout all of your or, uh, all of your life or the rest of your life just over analyzing and hating your interactions, just be what it is, okay? You can still analyze those actions. Okay, if, unless you want to spend your whole life upset after every interaction or after every whatever the thing is that I'm telling you to embrace whatever makes you different whatever makes you stand out whatever it is about you that or maybe your personality that you don't like or that people point out and you hate it because society tells you to hate it whatever that thing is it's better to not go your whole life criticizing yourself embrace it once you embrace it it just becomes a normal thing like you don't do too much with it no more like it it doesn't really bother you once you embrace it it doesn't really bother you anymore you just accept it as what it is and maybe next time we'll do better maybe not because if it happens a lot and you yeah there's no point okay we are embracing all of our differences all of 2022 also because more than likely what you think is weird what you think makes you different you think you're oversensitive you think what are some traits what are things what are weird traits that people don't accept let's look it up that didn't help anything um but the things that make you nervous around people the things that yeah whatever the thing is that makes you nervous when you're around people that could be your thing just embrace it that's just how it be you'd accept your friend for being like that accept yourself once you do that it's gonna happen still like i said it's gonna happen for the rest of your life but at least ain't no point in being mad over and 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 over, and over again that says something else about your personality but we're not finna go into that okay okay um so yes relating to Issa Rae relating to Issa Rae I think that is all I <laughs> that's all I have I was really I'm still contemplating on what I want to do specifically with this podcast because, yes, the goal or originally, I believe, I believe originally it was to, you know, uplift, you know, speak to people's souls, 
say things that you know people needed basically that's how that's what i mean by speaking to someone's soul saying things that people needed to hear um but also i want to do something that's funny not on the same video i've made up in my mind that i'm going to i'm going to have two separate videos if i want to do something on off of reddit or something funny i will do that on an entirely separate video because i don't know i just feel like mashing them together and trying to make a title with all of that together doesn't make sense and it's very hard and you don't want to have a long title nobody wants to read a really long title it looks kind of tacky all those things so just an update so yes thank you so much for tuning in today i don't know how much time I wish the time <clears throat> was bigger on the camera. So we're just going to zoom in and see if I could see it. 16 minutes left. How many minutes did I have before? Was this 20 minutes? I believe I probably hit the 20 minute mark. But uh, since I took such a long break from November, I am now again playing around with times to post the episodes i looked at the last time i posted it was 4 p.m which wow it's 4 p.m right now um dang it i didn't film with this whole scrunchy on got hair on it i'm not filming this again i don't have time but yes please let me know what times you want to hear my beautiful lovely illustrious voice and please comment for real like i hope you made it this far to comment or some talk to myself so yeah without further ado i'm gonna stop rambling so you can get on with your day i can get on with my day and i hope this is exactly what you needed to hear today i hope that my words brought you some kind of encouragement or you know not i just thank you for tuning in i really do appreciate it um, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, whether you are on YouTube, whether you're listening on whatever audio streaming podcast app you're on. I really, really appreciate it. Come back next Thursday because we're going to be here every single Thursday. No matter what I do, I am going to get a video up every single Thursday. That is my goal promise to myself. Oh, next week we can talk about confidence. Actually, last week I said we could talk about <laughs> children um but i feel like i'm trying to ease into you know coming back i'm not just trying to hit hard you know as soon as we come back i just want to ease into it so please be patient with me i'm gonna be patient with myself also are we loving the low bun are we loving the low bun because i'm loving the low bun it's giving my locks are long enough. You know, this part doesn't go quite go under. It kind of could, but I'm loving it. Sorry, Mike, I hit you. I'm loving the low bun. But without further ado, bye.